How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I'm going over the Final Fantasy XI configuration menu. This is where you can go ahead and set what resolution you want the game set to, how detailed you want the graphics to be, and even your menu size. There's some other features in here, like you can not have the opening movie play when you launch the game, and also you can configure a controller. I'm going to be going over all the settings in here, but most of the settings you don't really need. There's only a few key ones that you should be aware of. Also, something that people need to be aware of, you need to be completely out of the game for you to make any resolution or basically image quality changes to the game. So you have to completely shut down the game, pull up Final Fantasy XI Config, make whatever changes you want, and then log back in. And then if you are not satisfied and you don't like how it looks, then you need to completely shut down the game again, go back out, pull up Final Fantasy Config again, make whatever changes you want, and then log back in and then make sure everything looks the way you want and your computer's performing to the quality that you want. So it is kind of a pain, but it's just no way around it. That's what you have to do. So to access this menu, you need to make sure that the game isn't running and Play Online isn't running. You can then go ahead and click Start and then go to your search box and then just search for Final Fantasy XI Config. Or you can go to your Programs menu, go to Play Online, and you should see the Final Fantasy XI Config menu. Go ahead and click on that and that will launch the configuration menu. From here there will be four main tabs at the top. There will be General, Graphics, Features, and Other. You pretty much for setting how you want the game to look and how well it's going to perform, everything in either General or Graphics. You don't need to really worry about the other two tabs, but we will go over them. So the first setting that we're going to go over is the screen setting. And the first drop down box here is going to be whether you have it full screened, whether you have it windowed, and whether you have it borderless windowed. Just so anyone is aware, if you full screen your game, that means when you launch the actual game 11, it is going to take over your whole screen and you cannot access anything else on your computer. If you attempt to, it will crash the game. If you try and hit like Alt Tab or Control Alt Delete, it will completely crash the game and then you will have to go through the login process again to get back in the game. Just so anyone's aware, I play on full screen on my game that I like stream off of and when I'm playing my normal game. If you would like to use the computer that you're playing 11 on to do other things, you would either want it windowed, in which case it's going to be in your typical Windows style layout, where you'll have like the X at the top and minimize and maximize buttons, or you can go borderless where it'll basically be the game but it won't have a border. This way you can blow it to full screen and yet still pull it out and access other applications. You just go ahead and set your windowed mode to whatever setting you think is going to work best with your computer setup. The next drop down box is going to be your resolution and this is essentially how many pixels are going across the screen to comprise your screen layout. The higher the pixels, the better that the image quality is going to be, but that's not the only thing that determines the image quality for the game. There's a lot more settings than just the resolution. But you want to set it to about as high as you can without actually having a performance drop for your game. So again, this is going to come down to how your computer performs and whether you like how it looks. I would typically start with a higher setting, if not the highest setting, and then work your way down if you're having performance issues. The next setting is a slider that says UI size and it goes from small to large. This is going to adjust the size of your chat window along with your menus. This is probably where you're going to spend the most time logging in and out to make sure that the setting is where you want it. So ideally what I would do is, is make sure everything's running well with your resolution and image quality of how you want and just ignore the UI size and even go out and do an event or two 
maybe something like domain invasion where you're going to have some lag to make sure your computer is performing well. Once you figure out all your settings, I would then spend your time logging in and out and then adjusting the UI size until that's to your personal preference because the UI size shouldn't have any difference in your performance of your game, whereas all the other settings that are messing with the graphics are going to have a performance impact on your computer. So the next setting is image quality, and this pretty much sets the stuff that's on page two. So if you set it to ultra, it's gonna turn everything on and have all your settings to max. If you have it on standard, it turns most things to low, if not all the way low, and turns off almost all the settings. Custom is of course, then if you go in and manually change one thing or the other, just for different settings. Brightness should be fairly obvious. That's just going to adjust the brightness of your screen. There's then the checkbox. That's pretty simple. If it's checked, it'll play the opening video. Whenever you start 11, you uncheck it, so it'll just skip the video and go directly to the character select screen. The next tab is the screen settings. This is going to be more so what it is actually setting the game resolution in. This can actually be higher than your actual resolution for your game so you can go ahead and make adjustments to this turning it to high is going to give you the best image quality but it's also going to have the most impact on performance for your game so definitely make sure that your game isn't lagging when you're doing you know graphically intense content or things where other people are around domain invasion is a great place to go ahead and test this all these other slider box under quality, this is everything that was done under general for image quality. If you make adjustments to that slider, it'll make adjustments here. Making any personal adjustments that you want will change it to the custom setting. Or you could obviously just set it to ultra and it'll turn everything on, including the checkboxes down the bottom for draw distance and enhanced shading. The next tab for features basically just shows where on your computer it's going to save any screenshots that you make and also save your in-game settings so it makes it easier to go ahead and import it to another computer or if you're going to have to rebuild your computer that way you don't have to go in and mess with all your settings you have a copy of what your settings should be. And then other is not really a used feature you can go ahead and adjust the amount of simultaneous sound effects that the game makes at one time. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, and then you can have a checkbox to play sounds in the background. There are legacy settings that, like if you want to be able to see your original mouse cursor and it doesn't change the mouse cursor to Eleven's own thing, and it's basically for the old settings, uh, the way Eleven was configured, because they've made a lot of updates to it. I don't think you should really mess with it, but obviously, if you want to do something in there, by all means, go ahead and do it, but I don't think it's necessary. Then there's a file check. This will go ahead and check all the files, make sure that they're not corrupt and everything's up to date, and then you can create a desktop icon by clicking that if you really feel that you need a shortcut for the configuration menu. And the last thing I want to go over is the buttons on the bottom. You can obviously click help and that'll give you very limited help on the menus but it gives a little bit of information. Uh, default will restore everything to the default settings and then gamepad settings. By clicking this it'll take you to where you would go ahead and configure a controller so you can actually use a controller to play 11 which is my preferred method and I uh, like that. So you just go ahead and click on the gamepad config and then make sure at the top right you check the checkbox that says enable gamepad at that point you should go ahead and push the button on the controller as long as windows sees that there is a controller installed so for whatever button you want your select button to be or confirm you go ahead and push that whatever button you want to be cancel you then push that and just push the button on the controller and then click tab on your keyboard to move to your next menu and go all the way down. You don't really need a button set for take screenshots or anything below that, like to operate menus with uh, movement controls. 
I don't worry about that. Just everything above change view, I like to have a button for. Then you need to calibrate the controller. So you would come over and click on movement. So whatever analog stick you want for your movement, you would click that and then calibrate the up, down, left, right. You also need to calibrate it by confirming with the button on the controller for whatever button you did for config or you can press enter. So just go ahead and configure your movement, your camera and your menus and then you are good to go. You can go ahead and click test gamepad down the bottom and it'll make sure that all the buttons are activating that you want and you are covered in that sense. And then you want to make sure you go ahead and click close when you're done and then it's going to ask you to save the settings. Make sure you click yes to go ahead and save whatever setting changes you did and then now you can go ahead and log in and test whatever settings you need to do. So this is how you go about configuring 11 so it has the graphics and settings that you would like. If you want to do things with your menu, like have two windows and stuff, you set all that up in game. That's not done outside of game. This is just basically setting your graphics and the size of like your UI and everything. And that covers how you go about configuring 11 and getting your settings set to however you want. Uh, the only annoying thing I hate about this is the fact that you have to log in and out multiple times until you find the right medium for your computer if you're not a top-end computer that can just handle maxed out settings. And that covers everything with the Final Fantasy XI config menu. I hope you guys got some value out of it. I think you now know how to go about setting Eleven up the way that you want it and need it. And thank you guys for tuning in and supporting the channel, and may you have success in all you do.